Okay. So, so this is Todd Liner, and this is the follow-up video to the one we just showed you uh, with dealing with the coronavirus. I want to give people a little data. Um, Forrest, if you can pull up slide one, this is a little bit of data information, but this is the COVID-19 coronavirus data pack that the um, that came out back in March 9th. So if you go to, let's see, slide two, it tells you the symptoms that people, when you catch the coronavirus, what you're most likely to, to um, experience. So about eight, a little more than 80% of people are gonna just have mild symptoms. You're gonna get sick like a flu, you stay at home, you get better. That's basically what most people are gonna have to do. About 14% of people are gonna have to be hospitalized and about, maybe about 5% are gonna have to go to intensive care. Okay, so that's basically what this slide is telling you. Now, this is predicated on how well, what, what, your, what your physical state is. So if you are dealing with a disease that you know makes you more compromised. Like if you have immune, if you're more immune compromised, or you're older, you're more likely to have to deal with a more severe outcome. But in general, most people are going to get like about 80% of the people are going to have just this flu-like symptoms. Gets you know, be afraid because they have the coronavirus, but they basically want to heal. That's why you see most people heal. Now, if you go to um, slide three. This is basically telling you that the majority of the people recover. So only about 3% of people actually have the coronavirus. And actually, um, in America right now, it's probably about 2%. It's less than 2% of people that have that been diagnosed actually die. It's still, that's still um, significant because we have like a million people catch the coronavirus. And you're talking about 20,000 people dead. So that's, so it is, um, it is important that we understand what the percentage of people that die. But you can also you can also increase your chances of not having a bad outcome by, you know, taking something that's going to boost your immune system like echinacea, golden seal. You can find those in our, uh, our immune support formula. There's a lung and respiratory formula that we have that has mullein leaf. Uh, fenugreek seed that's going to help your lungs as far as uh, clean your lungs out, help you remove mucus and prevent you from having fluid in your lungs. So these are things that you can do to prevent yourself from having this. Now, slide four just basically is telling you that most of the people that are going to have be at risk to die are people that are older. So if you're between 70 and up, you're most likely going to have, you have a, you're a greater risk for actually having a, um, a what's called a, having, having something where you actually die from having the coronavirus. Slide five here is telling you that basically if you have one of these other diseases, it's going to cause you to be more susceptible to have a bad outcome. So if you have cardiovascular issues, you are likely to have a bad outcome if you combine that with the coronavirus. So at the urbanherb.net, we understand that. So we've, 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 we prepared for this type of situation, you know, decades ago. So we have formulas for all these things. So for example, if you have a cardiovascular issue, we've got the cardiovascular formula. We have our blood and lymphatic formula to actually, well, the cardiovascular formula is going to strengthen and tone your heart and lower your blood pressure. We have a blood lymphatic formula to clean out your lungs and give your, I'm sorry, clean out your blood and give it a better opportunity to transport oxygen to the lungs. Um, we have a vein formula that's gonna clean out plaque from your veins. We also have a car, uh, it's called circulation formula that will improve your circulation. If you have a diabetes, this is the second thing, this is the second most serious situation that's gonna cause you to have a bad impact with the coronavirus. So we have several formulas for that. We have our pancreas formula, we have, you know, pancreas auxiliary formula, and we also have our pancreas support formula. Both of those formulas will help rejuvenate your pancreas um, and also help with the insulin. So we all, there's also another formula I, I always forget about. This, this is our sugar buster formula. Yeah, sugar buster. Which will uh, will help uh, help you prevent you from the sugar cravings and help you balance your sugar. Now on this list, 
the one I'm most concerned with is the chronic respiratory disease. So if you have a chronic respiratory or lung issue, you are in, you are in you are in serious jeopardy of having a negative impact. So in response to that, we have our mucus reducer formula. We also have uh, our lung and respiratory formula. Now, personally, I think the mucus reducer formula is a little stronger, but I think the, the lung and respiratory formula is a better, is, is, deals with a broader range of issues. The mucus reducer formula mainly focuses on removing phlegm from your, from your lungs, whereas the lung formula is, does a lot of more general health, uh, general cleaning of the lungs and helps with asthma and stuff like that. If you have cancer, you are definitely compromised. And you do need to understand that if you have cancer, you the, catching the coronavirus can complicate your, uh, well, actually can actually make you possibly have a, a negative, uh, a bad outcome. Now, cancer, I don't like to call it disease. I like to call it, what Forrest used to call it, it's a uh, cellular disorder. That cellular disorder can be addressed, and we've created a product for that as well. It's our um, SCIT, and this is the, this is the thing that um, Forrest is really knowledgeable about the SCIT, and he did a lot of research on that, and he's the one that um, you know made it available on our website. And so we we follow the NAE cases original formula using the four herbs. We use the exact procedure she used to heal tens of thousands of uh, terminal cancer patients in Canada and in America. And uh, we'll have another video about that. That's a, that's a, that's a definite video that you we, we need to do further. Now, I'm going to skip over six, but I'm going to go to section seven, because this is what people want to know. How contagious and deadly is the coronavirus? So... If the, the scale that's going up on the right tells you the percentage of people that will die if they get the coronavirus or get any of these diseases. So if you catch bird flu, you have like about a 55 percent chance that you're going to die. So it's 50 50. That's highly that's 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 one of those diseases. That if you catch it, you're basically done. You're gone. Ebola, you're gone. 50 percent. Polio, we're looking at 25 percent. Smallpox, 30 percent. But the coronavirus is only between, between, basically between one and four percent that you're going to die. So it's no longer, it's nowhere near as deadly as the bird flu. You know, it's it's kind of of equivalent, maybe like uh, the measles. It's not, it's not deadly. Now, going the other way shows how likely are you to transmit it to someone. So. When it shows you one through nine, so if you walk in a room with people, what's the likelihood that you'll give it to somebody? So that's what's important too. See, bird flu is not really that contagious. So if you walk into a room, you may only you only might infect maybe ten percent. But if you get measles, that's highly contagious. You walk in a room with ten people, you're going to infect like nine people. See, so 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 what I'm trying to sh- what this chart is showing you is that. The coronavirus is not really that fatal compared to some other diseases, and it's really not that contagious. So the question is, why we have a pandemic? <laughs> and so, so that's a, that's a question for that. That's a question that we'll we'll have to address later. But that's what I want you to see that. So, but even but even still, one percent or three point five percent death is still high. You know, because that means that you have a million people catch it, you're going to lose a lot of people. You're going to lose a lot of people. And you couple that with the um, with the shutdown and people's small business maybe going out of business and people the unemployment at 20, maybe 25 percent, 20 percent if they don't do something about it. This could cause a major problem for our, 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 our for world economies. But I just wanted to show you that to let you know, like, you know, so you can have an idea of what the what um, how um, dangerous the coronavirus is compared to other viruses or other diseases. What do you recommend for people to protect themselves against the coronavirus? For those who truly believe it's a virus, and you know they just 
they got the mask, they got, you know, they got the uh, uh, gloves on, you know, they're just, they're, 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 uh, they look like a, a nurse out of office, and they're just scared, so what do you recommend for them? Okay. This is a, allegedly a airborne virus, so if you're wearing a mask, yes. wait, wait a minute now, wait a minute now, stop you said this is an airborne virus. I've never heard that it was an airborne virus. As a matter of fact, I heard just the opposite. It was a... We have to check that. Well, because I've never... Since I've heard that the virus was out, I've never heard that it was an airborne virus. Okay, we'll check and, 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 and listen... Hold on there for a second. If it was an airborne virus, more people would be dead already. Okay. So, let's put it this way. If, you, if someone's coughing on you, and you have a mask that's not airtight, it's not, it's, it does give you some protection, but not complete protection. And then if you're wearing that mask over and over again, how protected are you if you don't have a way to disinfect that mask? So um, we created our viral inactivator formula. It's a spray that you can spray on things that has hydrogen peroxide, well, food grade hydrogen peroxide, um, grapefruit seed extract, distilled water that you can spray on your, that, that you can spray that will inactivate a virus or bacteria. So that's one thing you can do. Second thing you can do, I mean, I, you know, people subscribe to the social distancing. I don't, I don't knock that. I'm just saying that that's one way you can protect yourself as well. Um, but it all depends on what your belief is because there's people that have there's a wide range of beliefs. Some people believe that this is caused, the coronavirus is real. Some people believe that this is not real. It has something to do with 5G technology. And so it depends on what you believe. On So that, based on what your belief is, I would say you follow that belief and we have a solution for you based on what your belief is. Okay. Okay, so, so now, if you don't believe it's a coronavirus, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, but if you do, we got some stuff for you. You know, just go to the website. We got the, the uh, vi uh, viral inactivator. We have um, immune support. We have um, uh, uh, antiviral, antibacterial, antiviral. Uh, these are just formulas that we have. Mm -hmm. So you can use, you know, that will start, you know, the, you're, you're building up your immune system against these viruses. Uh, and it's just not just the virus, you know, there's pneumonia, there's flu, there's all these other things out there that you're facing anyway. So for those who are interested in some of the products we have, you know, who are looking for herbs and, and stuff like, you know, we have this stuff in stock and ready. So you have, you have, a, you have something to use against this virus, so-called virus. Right. So you said that for us, because you got, you gave them more, you were more specific than I was. So Greg, yes, they do need to. Uh, be proactive. If they, if they feel that the, that the coronavirus is uh, threatening them in their, you know, their daily life, they want to do. They want to be pre. They want to be uh, pro proactive and use something that's going to strengthen and tone their immune system. Um, if you believe that this is a 5G issue and it's a, you know, based on the radio frequency of the 5G, then you want to use probably our iodine formula. That's going something that's going to help you eliminate the radiation that you're being that you're being hit with. So it depends on what you believe in. That's that's what I'm basically saying. So I want to keep people. I don't. I, I believe in free will, and I don't believe in telling people what they should believe or what how they should respond. I'm just going to give them the reaction or the okay. response. Give them the thing to do based on what their what their belief okay, is. What you should believe and what you shouldn't believe. Ain't no coronavirus. Okay. If it was a coronavirus, you'd be dead already. Ain't no coronavirus. Uh, what else? Oh. Uh, I don't believe in conspiracy, but I know for a fact ain't a coronavirus, okay? Because it was created in, in, in what, 2015, patented in 2018, came out in 2019. Yeah, so, huh? so for what, he's, what, what, what Forrest is responding, what he's actually saying is, you can, you can just go to, uh, you can Google search, uh, coronavirus patent, and I'm going to do it right now. I can tell you what it says. So he's gonna he's gonna find the patent for the coronavirus that was made in the laboratory in 2015. Google. I'm gonna type in Corona 
virus patent. So they got the patent approved in 2018. Now it's 2019 and the virus is out. Really? It's For real? Thing. And it shows you how they made this virus, the chickens they used for this virus, then the human trial. And if, 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 since this virus was made in a laboratory, you know, the odds are antidote was made in the laboratory at the same time. So again, you know, you have to choose to believe what you're gonna believe, but you got to do research. You have to learn some stuff. I see people doing the social distance and tripping. I see people wearing the masks, like that's gonna save you. It's too late. You are around other people. If you were gonna die from it, you'd be dead already. If it was airborne, you'd be dead already. We, you know, we, we've been here too long not to be dead. Think about that for a second. Moved it. It was. Um, I should have wrote it down. I, I wrote it. I copied the whole thing. But it actually shows that uh, the inventors. Knew that was coming. Uh, yeah, it showed the inventors. It showed uh, what company owns the patent and because all drugs, all all. All diseases are patented, in my opinion. So, what, what company had the patent on it? And um, I found anyway, it. Found huh? it. I found it. So, save that link. So it's, um, it is. It says US 101-30701-B2 coronavirus patent. And then. When you go there, it tells you the inventor, Erica Bickerton, Sarah Keep, and Paul Britton. It says the current assignee is the bright, it's a BR, it's a B I R B R I G H T Institute, Pi, Pi Bright Institute. Now, if you look up that institute, you'll find that that's owned, I believe, by Bill Gates. And it also says the application. For the patent was granted on November 20th, 2018. Um, let's see. Uh, the the Pribright Institute ap applied for the patent on July 23rd of 2015. That means it was made before that, before the mm -hmm. patent was applied for, it was made. So they create this virus in a laboratory. The, 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 the patent was approved in 2018. So here you got people creating a virus that people are supposedly dying from. Then they changed the name when it came out in the U.S. They changed it to COVID-19 because the name of the virus is coronavirus. That's patent. But COVID-19 is purportedly something new. Something is an offspring of that same virus. So now you can't sue the gates because now the virus doesn't change names on you. It's no longer the virus that they created. Well, what I'm going to uh, I'm going to send I'm going to email you the links. You can put it in the, uh, the, the video in the video notes. Absolutely. And so they can see it. And, um, you know, there's going there's going to definitely be a vaccination. So that's where the money's made. So you have to understand that if you want to find it, if you want to find out what the truth is, just follow the follow the money. When you follow the money, you'll be able to trace you right back to where this is coming from. Follow the money, he said. And Let me send uh, this to you now. Stay subscribed. Subscribe. Stay subscribed. We got more videos coming. We got more information coming uh, that's going to actually help you heal. And, and just remember, this channel is about original methods that brought society to where it is today outside of the alternative pharmaceutical method. In most people's minds, herbs are alternatives, but they're not. They're the original. Pharmaceuticals are alternatives. So we're going to bring you truths, and we have loads of information to share with you about the different methods on how you can get better, look better, feel better, and heal daily once you learn some things that you don't know. That's what this channel is all about, helping you, know, you get to the next level. I think that... Uh... One of the things, what differentiates us from other herbalists, and I think that it's very important, is that we, I think of myself just like everybody, I wasn't always health conscious. So it's not like I just woke up one morning and I had all this information and I did the research. And we try to, 
Um, I understand that like most of our books, well, I'm not gonna say most of our books. We try to come up with solutions for everyday situations. So we don't just deal with like diseases. If you're trying to get your hair to grow faster, we got we got products for that. If you're trying to lose weight, we got products for that. If you're trying to, I mean, I, we deal with everything from fibroid tumors. We also deal with vanity issues. If you, if like, for example, if you want to, for example, make your breast grow bigger, we have a formula for that. We have, so we have a wide variety of, of different products because we understand that everybody's not looking for something just related to health. And so we focus, we try to make sure we have something for no matter what you, what your issue, whatever you're trying to accomplish, there is an herb to do it. So we try to make sure we provide that information for you so you don't have to go search and say, hey, you know, I wouldn't deny if I got my breasts and, you know, augmented because I'm trying to compete with, you know, Mary Jane from down the street. We have a, we have a formula to do that naturally for you. So no matter what you're trying to do, I'm just focusing on that. But there's other things. We, if you look at our website, you'll see there's 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 herbs for everything, and we try to make it simple for you to find it. You know, we don't. I, I know everybody doesn't know what every herb does, so we try to make sure. Yeah, but call us. Call. Yeah. Call. You got a question? You want to know about cancer? You want to know about diabetes? You want to know about high blood pressure? You want to know about lupus? Call, call, and call. Somebody gonna answer the phone, and somebody gonna guide you down the right path because nature has a solution for everything. Nature does, not man. Nature. And you know, I have a, I have a, uh, a business background, so a lot of times I'm looking at the, the bottom line of everything. For us, it's more like you know, we gotta help people. We gotta make sure we help them. We gotta make sure that we have the products, you know, so that if they order, they they get shipped out on time. You know, so. And so we try to make sure we make stuff available to you at an economic price that you don't have to, you know, choose between, you know, paying your mortgage and being healthy. And we try to make sure that we are available for all types of questions. We try to make ourselves really available for that because we don't want you to be afraid of your disease. That's the main. We want you to not manage it but get rid of it and take personal responsibility for it. Subscribe this channel. Call us. And let's work together. Let's uh, let's help you get to where you really want to be, if right. that's where you want to be. If you want to see more? You can send you can send us a message. You can send us a message on our website. Tell us what you want to talk about. Um, subscribe to our channel. It's called Herbal Solutions. You can call us at eight 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 six one nine four three seven two.